trying to just survive in advance, just trying to keep um, this momentum alive. I've just had a blast, and I've just absolutely loved my time here. Oh, Our last game of the season in front of a sold out crowd. We had a lot of ups and downs, but you know, I still have fun with everybody. Everybody's got their own story, I know, but we certainly had plenty of episodes in ours. The standard that we had this year for the win, since we didn't, we, we didn't need it, but we met everything else. Yeah, boy. Yeah, number three. One, two, three. Yeah. K Nation, sponsored by 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Tonight on K Nation, how Kansas wound up with an early exit from the dance. We chat with KC star columnist Vahe Gregorian on the future in Lawrence, plus an exclusive interview with K State's Jeff Mitty. And two of the hottest teams on the diamond in the Big 12 right now reside in the Sunflower State. How the Batcats have climbed atop the league and Jayhawk softball gets a big time series sweep on the road. And if you've had a rough weekend of watching Wildcat and Jayhawk basketball, <laughs> don't worry, we've got good news for you. Football season is only 158 days away and spring practice is in full swing. But who's counting? Welcome to K-Nation. <laughs> I'm Glenn Kinley. She's Caroline Soro. March is here, the madness is here, and I think we put the mad in madness if you watched yeah. any hoops this weekend. It was a rough weekend <laughs> for our area teams it all around. It certainly was. Uh, three po four, all four of our teams playing postseason, one of them in the NIT. Three of them already eliminated. KU women's hoops is the last standing. We'll preview that game, but let's start, though, with Bill Self's Jayhawks. Well, before we dive in, it's a reminder that there are some pretty strict rules on March Madness videos, yeah. so you may not see much game footage here, but we will give you an in-depth breakdown and plenty of post-game interviews. Don't worry, we got you covered there. The Jayhawks had a thriller on Thursday after opening up a 22-point lead. Oh boy, here come the Bulldogs. Sanford pulled back within one, but a clutch defensive play by that guy right there, Marco Jackson, plus some made free throws, helped Kansas hold on. Post-game vibes were good then, not so good yesterday. In round two, KU hit seven first-half threes, led by one at the break, but the second half, all zags. Gonzaga runs away to win by 21. KU bounced in the first weekend for the second year in a row. It hurts a lot, especially knowing that all the guys that we played with, some, a lot of them won't be here next year. So it just it just hurts um, just to make it make it here and not be able to move on to the next weekend. Proud of our guys, you know. We we fought through a lot of stuff, and everybody's got their own story. I know, but we certainly had plenty of episodes in ours, and and uh, guys hung in there and and uh, gave it all they had. We just didn't have any any juice there in the second half. 11 losses is the most in the season for the program since 1989. Kansas was also without senior guard Kevin McCuller in both NCAA tournament games due to injury. Of course, now the question is who comes back next year and what portal additions will KU make? More on that later with Fahe. Now for Jerome Tang's team, we'll keep this recap short because, well, there isn't much no, good news. Not at all. No, no big dance bid and then no NIT win. K-State loses to Iowa and Iowa City 91 to 82 and very similar to the story with the Jayhawks, no defensive stops. Jerome Tang postgame says that despite the sour ending, this season was far from a waste. The standard that we had this year for, for wins is we, did, we, we didn't meet it, but we met everything else. What we do in the locker room, what we do in the classroom, what we do in the community, how we conduct ourselves, how we treat people. And so uh, I couldn't be more proud of these young men. The Wildcats finished the season 19 and 15 overall. We mentioned the roster questions for Kansas. K-State's offseason turnover, it's already started. It certainly has. Two cats already in the portal, junior portal, I should say. <laughs> junior guard Cam Carter announced his decision to leave the program. That was on Thursday. Then Dorian Fenster followed suit on Friday. Carter started all 34 games for the Cats this season, averaging 15 points per night and also five boards. Fenster, a sophomore guard, appeared in 19 games, averaging just under three points per outing. Both guys spent two years in Manhattan. Both Canadian teams in the NCAA women's basketball tournaments, both winning the opening round. And we'll start with Kansas State, who earned a top four seed and the privilege of hosting the first weekend. Caroline, you spent some time over there in the Octagon of Doom, and boy, was it dooming. Oh, it was fun. It was working its <laughs> magic 
in the first round. Jeff Mitty's team used that energy to come out hot. K-State led by as many as 20 in the first half. The Pilots kept things interesting down the stretch, but never threw, truly threatened. In round two, K-State went four quarters in a knockdown, drag out, take no prisoners meeting <laughs> with Colorado. And it's one that sees the Buffs come out on top. Here's an emotional Gabby Gregory on the fan support evidenced by that sellout crowd of more than 10,000 in Bramlage this afternoon. Pretty good crowd to go out on. So, I mean, I'm just really thankful to the fans. Everyone has been amazing and so supportive of us this year. And I really think that we've grown the game of women's basketball in Manhattan, Kansas. And I just can't wait to see the support that they continue to get next year. I mean, I just love this school. I love K-State. I've just had a blast and I've just absolutely loved my t time here. <laughs> and I wish I could stay longer. Oh man, it tugs at the heartstrings there. Mm -hmm. uh, the feeling is mutual. K-State loves her and Gabby's college career has come to a close. Now Wildcat fans anxiously await a decision from the All-American Aoka Lee, who has one year of eligibility left. If she chooses to come back, she told us after the game she doesn't know and we'll have to wait and see. 26 wins this season, the program's most in more than two decades. Certainly a good season for the Wildcats, but Jayhawk women's basketball now is our only hope Don't for a Final us. Four we on K you. Nation. We do. The Jayhawks had a thriller in round one, rallying from down by 10 in the fourth to force overtime and beat Michigan in what you can call the Hunter Dickinson Bowl. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Sakaya Franklin went for 22, including a huge bucket to force that extra period. Samaya Nichols had 15 in her first big dance game the Jayhawks they survive in advance I think it lived up to it it was exciting um, back and forth not easy and I mean that's what we play for March is honestly about getting everyone's best basketball and I feel like Michigan definitely delivered I'm just proud of them uh, they've, they've been a really resilient group a sense of urgency that they played with in February to position themselves to be a tournament team um, it doesn't surprise me that uh, that they are not phased, um, you know, being down 10 in the fourth quarter. It's an experienced group, a confident group. And it's now three straight seasons with 20 plus wins for Coach Schneider's squad. Pretty big deal there. Yeah. And perhaps their toughest test yet this year, a round of 32 meeting tomorrow night with the regional host, number one seed, USC. Surviving advance, just trying to keep um, this momentum alive and just uh, our season alive. Honestly, we have other uh, fifth year seniors and um, we just want to keep playing uh, as well as our younger players and just allow them to experience this moment with us. It would be huge. And I mean, it goes without saying that we'll continue to play. And I mean, we all want to keep dancing. So, I mean, obviously it would be historic, but that's what we want to do. So we'll put our best foot forward. Well, look, listen here, Jayhawk fans. If you're not familiar, get familiar with USC's Juju Watkins. She's fantastic. Caroline barely beat her in one-on-one. -on -one. The, tro <laughs> the Trojan guard having a historic freshman campaign. But the Hawks have a pretty good freshman star of their own. So Maya Nichols was the Big 12 first team, averaging 15 a game. Watkins was the Pac-12 freshman of the year, averaging 27 a game. That's second in the country. Eight-seeded Kansas gets one-seeded USC tomorrow, 9 p.m. Central. I'm excited for that one. And when basketball does wrap up, well, we are hoping that Coach Brandon's team yeah. keeps us busy here for the next couple weeks. But when it's over, don't bet on K-Nation to get boring. Shaping up to be a special spring on the diamond in both Lawrence and Manhattan. Let's start by breaking down what was a career day for KU's Collier Cranford. And then some. <laughs> on Friday, the Jayhawk junior infielder hit for the cycle. And no better way to wrap up the cycle then a grand slam, call it a seventh inning salami. Oh, Cranford <laughs> drove in seven runs on the day. KU beat UCF 13-3, but then the Knights won the next two and took the series in Lawrence. And the Batcats, on the other hand, they're red hot. K-State baseball swept Houston in three over the weekend, kick-started by career win number 800. That's a big number mm -hmm. for head coach Pete Hughes. The winning streak is at nine, and they are alone at the top of the conference. Best news of the weekend, though, he's back. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you can hear Cam Newton there. <laughs> the star closer Tyson Neighbors returns to action. That is a big deal. Hey, we talk about it every week. The Jayhawks softball turnaround is here, and it's real, folks. KU won five conference games all of last season. They've already won seven this year, tied for third in the Big 12 after a weekend sweep of the Cougars. That was in H-Town, by the way. KU earned a national ranking last week and is now 9-1 in its last 10. Bad week to be a Cougar. Don't go anywhere, though. We got more K-Nation coming your way after a quick break. 
What's next for KU men's hoops and K-State women's hoops? We've got interviews with KC stars Vahe Gregorian and head coach Jeff Mitty. But first, spring practices are officially underway for Wildcat and Jayhawk football, and two local players are ready for breakout seasons. Car wrecks don't just happen from 9 to 5. If you're in a wreck, we're available 24-7. Don't wait until tomorrow to get the help you need now. In a wreck, need a check? Patterson Legal is the way to go. Call 431 JML Engraving Manhattan provides quality service you can count on. JML can add that personal touch to your gifts, trophies, and special occasions. JML Engraving, celebrating victories in life. Protect your home from sudden power outages with a Generac Home Standby Generator. Installed by Shockwave Electric certified experts. Call Shockwave Electric for all your commercial and residential electrical services. Hi, Clay Sherwood here with Frank and Dean, the CEOs of Cube. And they want to make sure you're keeping your pool clear this summer with Bacquasil, a truly chlorine-free solution. Let swims and sweeps keep you cool this summer. So, how long have you lived here? Over 40 years. And how are the restaurants around here? Are they good, bad, meh? What's the average household income? Is there a mall? I don't know, a hair salon? Where do you get your hair done? You go move or what? Oh, I'm sorry. It's a lovely neighborhood. Marcy, we've got to go. I'm coming. We've got 17,000 more parks to visit. You want to give me a hand? We bring you the best neighborhood info. Ding dong. Homes.com. Truck accidents have resulted in big money for our clients. In Iraq, need a check? Call us today. Patterson Legal is the way to go. Call 431-0000. Welcome back to K Nation. Not that we're counting, but we do <laughs> get live Big 12 football in 158 days. I guess non-conference football. But uh, who's counting? But still, it's football. And that's only, I'm sure you were all wondering, 3,729 hours from now. So really, we can't waste uh, any more time. I'm getting impatient. <laughs> and you know what we want? Well, video of Avery Johnson. I made it out to practice this week to take in the Pop-Tart Bowl champs. The mascot was not there, oh, though. Big on. disappointment. I know. Like I, hey, there's a couple Avery highlights here, but let's talk about DJ Giddens. The Junction City Blue Jay excelled last season, taking over Deuce Vaughn's role. But assistant coach Van Malone says DJ looks thicker, which translates <laughs> to scarier for defenses. As I've seen him grow and develop into the last season and in through the spring, uh, again, I think he's inflicting punishment on defenders rather than, you know, standing there and letting them hit him. Inflicting punishment. That'll get you fired up for football <laughs> season. Hey, KU football returns a lot, but also a couple fresh faces, including Hayden High grad Deshaun Hanneke, who transferred back to the Sunflower State after a few years at Iowa State. He'll replace Mason Fairchild's role at tight end. He's also gelling already with new offensive coordinator Jeff Grimes. Very, very willing, very uh, passionate about the game, wants to be great, wants to be coached. Really one of those guys that, you know, he's just so driven that sometimes he can be maybe a little bit hard on himself and it's harder on him than anybody else so far because he's learning a new system. But he's going he's gonna to do fine. Well, coming up after the break, we talk one-on-one -on -one with K-State head coach Jeff Mitty, what he says went wrong for the Cats today, and his thoughts on Ayoka Lee's career at K-State. That's next. Honey, what are you doing? What? I just fixed the leaky chimney. Call Certified Fireplace and Chimney. We fix leaky chimneys properly. Hi, this is voice of the Wildcats, Wyatt Thompson. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, 988 provides direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you will be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. For 24-7 non-judgmental support, 
Just call, text, or chat 988. Come on home to West Blue and Manhattan's West Side. Start your journey of hope, growth, and healing with Andrews and Associates Counseling by your side. Briggs Auto Group, proudly serving Northeast Kansas for over 40 years. Central National Bank, money for life. This is some old friends, discover some new. Come home to West Loop and Manhattan's West Side. Batter up at Play It Again Sports. We offer an extensive selection of new and used baseball and softball equipment from Wilson, Easton, Rawlings, Louisville Slugger, DeMarini, String King, Dudley, Mizuno, Marucci, and Nakona. We have custom uniforms. Try before you buy with our indoor batting cage. Bring in your quality used gear to save even more by trading in and trading up or get cash on the spot. We are buying all day, every day. Play it again sports. 21st and Fairlawn in the Fairlawn Plaza Mall. Do you have water damage from storms? Give Certified Fireplace and Chimney a call before the damage gets worse. We'll inspect your chimney inside and out, then we'll make any necessary repairs. Don't wait until it's too late. Call Certified Fireplace and Chimney today. Well, welcome back to K Nation. The feeling is not great in Manhattan right now after K State women's loss, but there's still so much more positive things to take away. Oh, from this it was year. a memorable season for sure. We told you earlier 26 wins the most in the Jeff Mitty era. K Nation's Landon Reinhardt caught up, caught up with Coach after the game for a one on one interview. Coach, obviously heartbreaking for, for numerous reasons. Uh, what, what was the message to the girls in the mm -hmm. locker room after? Well, just I really appreciate the hard work they put in this year. It's disappointing we didn't play very well today, but um, they did so many good things this year. You don't want a moment where you don't play well to define your season, but it's disappointing. And uh, we had a great crowd today. I appreciate that, and uh, but we're disappointed, obviously, in the outcome. I, I know that there was a lot of talk yesterday about the potential crowd, but to see it and see how the girls reacted to that, how cool was that? Yeah, you know, I, I, we have uh, had over 20,000 people watch games in the last 36 hours here and watch our team play. So they have uh, captured the hearts of a lot of people. They've um, been a joy to coach, and uh, it's pretty special to walk out there and see that. I, I know it shouldn't be a story, but a lot of people talking online about Sherrod and the, the call to the, to the refs. What, what was your perspective of that? Well, my perspective is is that I'm a, any play above the shoulders can get looked at, you know. Um, but she obviously lobbied to get that looked at. So it happens. It happens. We, we had stuff like that happen. That play, we came out of that timeout fine. Our issues were we didn't take care of the ball well enough to have a consistent run back at them. And, um, you know, ultimately that – led to a lot of inconsistency in our offensive attack today. We only scored 15 points in the second half, so we got to look at what we can do better, and uh, that's it. I, I asked Yoki afterwards her plans going forward. She said, uh, you know, you'll have to wait and see. I don't know if she's told you anything, but if this is her last go here in Bramlage, what, what has she meant to you and this team? Well, I think we'll let that play out. I think she'll know here in three or four days, but um, just uh, – uh, you look at uh, the impact that Yoki's had in her time here, and if she chooses to come back, I think she can even have a greater impact. If she chooses to go on, you'll look at her and say this is one of the best players to ever play at Kansas State, um, one of the best representatives of Kansas State, and uh, I would echo those things with uh, Gabby in her time uh, only two years here. So I'm um, real proud of both of them. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you. A special season and a bright future ahead. They got a lot of young stars. Definitely. We're hoping Yoki comes back for one more <laughs> year. Coming up on K Nation, I talked to Vahe Gregorian of the KC Star just in Salt Lake City. In fact, I woke up there today in Salt Lake City. <laughs> the interview was from last night. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Manhattan Area Technical College will help you build a foundation for your college career, like transferable credits offered in your high school, earning your high school diploma through GED completion on our campus, breakthrough to a new career. Manhattan Tech, providing higher education. Congratulations, Carrie Greenwood. This month's Everything Woman honoree for her amazing work with both the Kansas Youth Empowerment Academy and Miss Wheelchair Kansas Inc. Everything Woman, sponsored by Sharp Honda, Topeka ER and Hospital and Washburn University. 
Fidelity State Bank and Trust, Topeka, empowering customers since 1922. Debbie Orr, Senior Vice President and Consumer Loan Officer at Fidelity Bank, with reasons to have your auto loan right here at home. We are offering competitive rates and terms on auto loans. Contact one of our friendly associates and we'll make it easy. Fidelity Bank, we do business right here at home. Growing the market for Kansas-made E15 is a win-win for Kansans. What's E15? It's fuel with 15% ethanol compared to the usual 10% in regular unleaded. E15 is more affordable, has better performance, and runs cleaner than regular unleaded, meaning Kansas drivers can go further for less. From helping Kansas farm families by stabilizing grain prices, helping Kansas become more energy independent, and adding more than 4,000 jobs in Kansas, more of our money stays right here at home because of ethanol. Visit fueledbykansas.com to find a station near you. Ladyfingers Automotive, family-owned auto repair with hands that understand your vehicle. Quality repairs done at an affordable cost. When you're in need of service, repair, or towing, remember Ladyfingers Automotive. Manhattan Area Technical College will help you break through to a high-paying career by empowering you in high-demand fields. Let Manhattan Tech help you break through to a new career. Manhattan Area Technical College, providing higher education. Well, what changes will we see for KU men's basketball after a season that didn't meet expectations? Of course, that's the million dollar question. And Vahe Gregorian of the Kansas City Star has been keeping up with the Hawks for more than a decade. His relationship with Bill Self goes back to the Tulsa days. We talked post game in Salt Lake City about what went wrong yesterday and what evaluating must be done in the coming weeks. All right, tough loss for the Jayhawks here in the Delta Center tonight. Vahe, the defense just wasn't there for KU tonight. We've seen times where they struggle on defense, but Gonzaga had their way for 40 minutes. They did, and, and, and look, it's hard to know. It's a little chicken and egg in a way, right? You, you can't make a shot, and then, you know, somebody's sagging. Uh, Gonzaga slicing and dicing. Um, I, I, I don't know if I've ever seen a Bill Self coach team at the same time be less formidable offensively and uh, virtually, you know, pylons on defense. It was, it was really crazy. It really snowballed. Yeah, let's talk about Hunter Dickinson. He, it's kind of how he's been, especially tonight. He was really good on offense, but they gave up a lot of open layups or open dunks on the defensive end. What does he need to, to – we don't know if he's going to come back. If yeah. he does, where does he need to – or even if he doesn't, where does he need to grow his game? Well, I, you know, I think it, it's – in one sense, you're right. I mean, we've seen some of this stuff all season. And in the other sense, I feel like, well, the guy's just back, second game after, after uh, the, the shoulder dislocation. So I feel like um, – but I, but I feel like you see why maybe you don't think he's an NBA guy right now. I mean, I think I think you can see that. I do think there's a thin line between excuses and reasons, but I do think they one of the consistent points that we could see in the second half today was they were a step behind on everything. Yeah. And I think I think the legs just went. And, and look, that I think is the core of what went wrong this season. They never did either recruit enough or cultivate enough depth. That's what I wanted to ask you about roster construction. Yeah. It, did was this coaching staff maybe learned a lesson or tried to push their limits of, of how thin they could go? Because they basically played six guys tonight. I mean, I mean, uh, Parker got in there a little bit and Jamari yeah. got in there when the game was over, but they basically rolled with six guys, including, like you said, a guy who just dislocated his shoulder. Yeah, I, th I think th I think that's true. And I think Bill would be the first to say it. And, you know, after the game, we got talking a little bit about um, if he's already ready to look toward next season. And he made a comment basically saying, you know, he's been thinking about that. It broke the internet, but but the context there is very important. It is very important, and I, I think I, I haven't seen how the internet uh, responded. I guess I can I can imagine, but if you if you were listening to the question and the full answer, the point wasn't I gave up on the season. The point was I see what our flaws are, and absolutely a number one was you can't play with six guys. I think he thought that you know the attrition wouldn't grind them out totally. The teams we've seen at Kansas for a generation now, a generation plus, uh, don't f fold. I don't want to say fold. That's not the right term. But they don't um, hinge on whether one guy gets hurt. And yes, Kevin McCullough is probably is their best player. That hurts. They've they've been able to sustain that sort of sort of blow in the past. Win a couple games, get to the second weekend, and see what happens. They they just didn't have that. Kansas could return four or five starters. There's been a lot of talk about spacing and, and the offense and how that works. 
does Kansas want to return four or five stars? That's, and if they do, yeah. what has to change? Because I think you'd agree you could roll out the same lineup and add in add in one or two guys, and unless those two guys are all Americans, there's still going to be some issues. Well, it's a really great question, and the joke used to be for a bad team. The joke used to be, you know, like say let's say a bad football team. Uh, uh, the good news is they've got 19 to 22 starters back. The bad news is, you know, they've got 19 to 22 <laughs> starters back. It's different here, right. and it's about how the parts go together, mm-hmm. which I think is is the really complicated thing. Yeah. And 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 that's uh, sort of by feel, and it's it's all the more of a complicated thing in the era of the portal where, you know, coaches not only recruiting to get somebody to the program in the first place, then you're trying to figure out who's staying, who's going, um, at least. Per our reporting, uh, Shrey Lada from the Star, mostly talking to people directly uh, after the game, I, I think the thought is we really only know one starter for sure is coming back, and that's and Dewan. Yeah. And uh, the rest, there's all a little air of mystery to, I think. And uh, I can't get past the point you made, though, which is who do you want to have come back? Because um, some things will lock you into a style of play, and some things will give you more flexibility. That was one thing that really stood out today, too, you know, when you when you turn to the bench, obviously there's not enough people there, but also, uh, you, you you know, there's not a stopper there. There's not a guy who's going to say, okay, we're going to put him in, he's going to stop it. There's not an instant offense guy. Uh, that, that's not there. So, you don't. it's the components as well as the, uh, you know, just the overall deficiency of, of numbers. Friend of the program, Flora Bidunga, will join the team next year. He's a block party, I'll tell you that. Maybe he's the stopper they need. Vahe, we appreciate your time, man. Safe travels back to Kansas City. Great to be with you. Thanks. By the way, Flory was just named the Indiana Gatorade Player of the Year for the second straight season. He's really good. More K-Nation right after a break. Don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm Bob Goodall from Kansas Furniture Mart. Queen Pillow Top Mattresses, 233, eight-piece living room groups, 888. Financing for everyone at the original Kansas Furniture Mart. JML Engraving Manhattan provides quality service you can count on. JML can add that personal touch to your gifts, trophies, and special occasions. JML Engraving, celebrating victories in life. Minority entrepreneurs create jobs and contribute to the cultural and social fabric of our society. Join us as we highlight a minority business Wednesday at 6 p.m. on 27 News. Sponsored by FHL Bank Topeka. The 27 News Storm Tracker is sponsored by D.L. Smith Electric, bringing your vision to life. Talk to people about siding, and talk to people about windows, and talk to people about decking, and it was, just, it was just beyond me, and I couldn't get it to fit together. And window Design came in, and they basically put it all together. I would recommend this company to anybody, my neighbors especially, because they've all come over and wanted to see my house. It was a great experience, and the product obviously speaks for itself. Let us make your dream project become a reality. Call the experts at Window Design and Remodeling. We are your home remodeling specialists. Jungle House has moved, and we would love to show you around our new digs. Bring a new friend to school with you that will add life to your dorm room or apartment. We have plans for all. Find us at our new location, 6 East 7th Street, Lawrence, Kansas. Hi, I'm Bob Goodall from Kansas Furniture Mart. Queen Pillow Top Mattresses, 233, eight-piece living room groups, 888. Financing for everyone at the original Kansas Furniture Mart. Welcome back to K Nation. Caroline's been on the program for a few weeks now, but never got a formal introduction. We were kind of tied up in the whole basketball thing. Caroline, what do we need to know about you? Well, I graduated uh, just about a year ago. Hard to believe that that's actually true. It makes mm-hmm. me feel old, uh, but I've been with KSNT full time for almost the same amount of time, about a year now. I've made the transition over to sports a mm-hmm. little over a month ago, and I'm just excited to get to work covering all these teams we have. And she's already crushing it with some high school coverage, with some college coverage. Who knows if KU women's basketball keeps winning, maybe we'll send you on the road with them. Hey, maybe so. I'd love to be there. <laughs> Keep winning. <laughs> Thanks for watching K Nation. Join us next Sunday. Join us every Sunday. Have a great night. No team ever won a big game running from a challenge. If I could go back and do it again, I'd I'd do it again over and over and over again. I would come to K-State every time. Do everything you can to make a play. Don't play cautious. Don't play not to lose. Let's play to win.